This is a series of videos. Please refer to the methods of stitches, ignoring the yarn color. Select the corresponding yarn colors in your material package to learn. Please refer to both the videos and the instructional brochure during your crocheting process. Please make sure to first view the beginning 10 instructional videos to learn the basic methods of crocheting, and then view the instructional videos for your purchased product. The Small Hanging Potted Plants The Flower Pot You need to crochet two cream little flower pots in total. The crochet methods are the same for each flower pot. We will demonstrate one of them. We'll use double strings of creamy white yarn and 4.1 and 4.0 millimeter crochet hook. Wrap the yarn around your little finger and then bring it up to index finger. Pinch the yarn tail with your thumb and middle finger. Working into a magic ring, make a loop around your middle finger and pinch the crossover of the yarn. Insert hook into the loop on middle finger. Yarn round hook and put up a loop. A magic ring is formed on the middle finger. Working to a magic ring. Wrap the yarn around your little finger. Then bring it up to index finger. Make loop around your middle finger. Pinch the yarn with your thumb and middle finger. Insert hook into the loop on your middle finger. Yarn on the hook, pull up a loop. The loop on the middle finger becomes the magic ring. In round one, start with a chain stitch, then work eight single crochets, finally end with one slip stitch. Work one chain stitch first, yarn round the hook, and pull through the loop on the hook. That's a chain stitch. First, work a chain stitch. Yarn on the hook, pull the yarn through the loop on the hook. That's a chain stitch. The chain stitch at the beginning is to raise the height and will not be counted into the number of stitches. There were eight single crochets. Insert hook into the magic ring. Yarn round hook and put up a loop through the ring. There are two loops on the hook. Then yarn round the hook and pull through both loops on the hook. That's a single crochet. Insert hook into the magic ring. Pull up loop through the magic ring. There are two loops on the hook. Yarn on the hook. Pull through both loops on the hook. One single crochet is done. Such a V shape is formed on the side. Place a marker in the first stitch. Through the underneath of both loops of the V shape. Make sure to mark the first stitch of every round.
insert hook into the magic ring. Yang round the hook and put up a loop through the ring. There are two loops on the hook now. Then yang round the hook and pull through both loops on the hook. The second single crochet is done. There are two Vs. Stand for two single crochets. The loop on the hook is not counted as one stitch. We go on with the third single crochet. Insert hook into the magic ring. Yarn round the hook and put up a loop through the ring. We get two loops on the hook now. Then yarn round the hook and pull through both loops on the hook. The third single crochet is done. Continue to work five more single crochets in the same way. We can count the Vs to check the number of stitches. We will find 8 Vs on the side, stand for 8 single crochet. The loop on the hook is not counted as one stitch. Eight single crochets are done. Pull the yarn tail tight to close the ring. Finally, with one slip stitch, remove the marker, insert the hook into the mark stitch, yarn round hook, and put up a loop. There are two loops on the hook. Then pull the first loop on the hook through the original loop on the hook. That's one slip stitch. Snip stitch. Insert hook into the next stitch. Hook the yarn. Pull the yarn through the stitch and also pull it through the original loop on the hook. That's a snip stitch. Repeat. Insert hook into the next stitch. Hook the yarn. Pull the yarn through the stitch and also pull it through the original loop on the hook. Repeat one more time. Okay. That's a slip stitch. The slip stitch serves as a connection. It is not counted into the number of stitches neither. Round 1 is done. Pay attention to the yarn tightness during crocheting. If it's too tight, we can't insert the hook easily. If it's too loose, the fabric will be out of shape.
In round 2, walk 1 chain stitch, 8 increases and 1 slip stitch. Yarn round hook and pull through the loop on the hook. That's a chain stitch. The chain stitch is to raise the heights and will not be counted into the number of stitches. Then we're 8 increases. Increase means working two single crochets in the same stitch. With one single crochet in the first stitch, where we just worked the slip stitch of last round. We'll insert hook through both loops of the Vs to finish the following stitches. Mark the first single crochet. One single crochet is done. Then work one more single crochet in the same stitch. That's one increase. Increase. Increase means working two single crochets in the same stitch. In the next stitch, we'll show how to work one increase. First, work a single crochet in the next stitch. Then work one more single crochet in the same stitch. One increase is done. Continue to work seven more increases in the same way. We work two single crochets in each stitch. Eight increases are done. Finally, work one slip stitch. Remove the marker.
insert a hook into the mark stitch, yarn round the hook, and pull up a loop. There are two loops on the hook. Then pull the first loop on the hook through the original loop on the hook. Tighten them up. That's one slip stitch. The slip stitch serves as a connection. It is not counted into the number of stitches. Round 2 is done.